Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing, cooking, and cosplaying videos here on Whitney Sews. And today I'm going to be explaining how I went about making the skirt for my steampunk snow white costume or cosplay. And uh, I will apologize now for the in progress shots. They are not that great. And that is because I was working in the living room so I'd have more space. But the lighting in there is pretty terrible so I did the best that I could and I hope that my explanation is good enough that you can still understand what I was doing. I based the skirt on a fan art image that I found and there's a link below to where you can see that. I wanted the skirt to have a high-low hemline with a bustled over skirt on it and I'm using a light yellow fabric and I have no earthly idea what kind of fabric it is. It was given to me I really have no idea it kind of feels like a lightweight suede but your guess is as good as mine because I really have no idea. I started by cutting two pieces out of the fabric that are measuring half of my waist plus about six or eight inches by the width of the fabric and then with the remaining fabric I cut a half circle with a radius of 24 inches. I trimmed one of the first two pieces to about 10 inches longer than what I wanted the skirt front to be and the other one I trimmed to about 4 inches longer than I wanted the back of the skirt to be. I then sewed the front and the back together while ruching up about 4 or 5 inches in the side seam. Then going back to the half circle, I surged the curved edge and then hand gathered the very center until it was about four inches from the top. Then I hand sewed the gathers into place and it was really hard to do. I actually bent my hand sewing needle like really, really badly because I was trying to sew through all the layers at once and instead I had to go through a couple layers at a time until I made it all the way through and that worked out okay. It was still pretty difficult to do. Uh, but then I sewed the shorter ends together in the back and I also gathered two small sections near the back but that was just to help the fabric lay right. Then I put the two pieces together, the skirt front and back and then the curved section and I penned all along the top and I actually cut a little shallow curve into the front so that when it's on my waist it will sit nicer. I sewed along the top edge to attach the layers together and then I created an elastic casing by uh, just turning it under. I wanted to create a double casing so that I could have two rows of elastic uh, just since the skirt was getting a little heavy and I thought the extra elastic would help. But because I was sewing through so many layers and it was so close to the gathers and everything, it just did not work out and I was only able to do um, just the one row of elastic. So I just went ahead and made sure that I did the elastic a little bit tighter than I normally would have. And so that way, in case it did stretch a little bit, it still would hold the skirt up. Okay, so almost finished. Uh, the last thing I had to do was to trim up the hemline of the skirt and make it the shape that I wanted. So I folded the front in half and trimmed the curve and folded the back in half and trimmed that curve. Tried it on, make sure I liked it, tweaked it a little bit. And then I needed to hem it. I hate hemming curves. If you watched my hooded capelet video I put up recently, I mentioned it in that, that I hate hemming curves. So I figured out a little cheat. What I did was I took some lace and I put it right sides together with the fabric and sewed it on. And then I flipped it so it was right sides out and just top stitched it. And it looks really cute. It has a nice finished look, but I didn't have to actually do a proper hem. And so it was so much quicker, so much nicer looking, and a lot less aggravation. <laughs> so that is it. And I love how the skirt looks with my damsel corset. It The skirt is a little bit bulky up top with the gathering and everything, but the corset hides that perfectly, so uh, you can't even tell that there is extra bulk there. And by the way, I did wear shorts under my skirt at the photo shoot. Uh, I think you can actually see them just barely in one of the photos, but they're nude colored, so you can't really tell, but I'm not used to wearing short skirts or skirts with high slits, and so I wanted to make sure I was covered in case I had to lean over. So yeah, fun fact. Anyway, I hope you like this video, and like I said, sorry the pictures aren't that great, but um, I hope the description was still enough that you could get an idea of what I was working on and how I put it all together. 
Don't forget to click like and share if you enjoyed the video. And also, if you want to see how I made the hairpiece that I wore with the cosplay, uh, definitely check that out. The link is below. And um, I'm super proud of how the hairpiece turned out. I just thought of it, hoped it worked out, made it, and it was awesome. And I used the last bit of fabric that was left from our Tenzin and Pema cosplays for it, and then some wire. And that is all that held my hair up for the entire photo shoot. So you definitely want to check that out, see how I made it, and also subscribe so that you get all the rest of my future tutorials in your um, subscription box when they are uploaded, and I will see everyone again soon. Bye!